finally, the last project of the year. So, project at hand is to install a sub pump in this basement. The reason for the installation of the sub pump in this basement is there's no flow drains anywhere in this basement. So, throughout the basement, there is no there's no flow drains and the reason being this basement used to be a crawl space so at some point the basement got dug out and this is where the sewer leaves and now this is the basement floor so if you notice the sewer is higher than the floor so in this project we'll install a sub pump so in case there's any broken pipes or anything along that line it will not flood the basement it will go into the sub pump and pump it outside until we realize there's a broken pipe because for now the furnace is being the excess water from the furnace is being pumped out through a pump Normally we'll put it in the flow drain. So we're gonna add a sub pump to this basement to pump all this water out. So there's a couple more stuff I need. So let's run out to Home Depot or Lowe's, grab what we need and come right back to work. Comparing to Home Depot 123, I guess I know where I'm finding one. But then the cover is 42 bucks, so that brings it to the same price as Home Depot. So I'm not saving anything, actually, it's more expensive here. Okay, I'm here already. Let me pick it up.
Nine more inches to go. So the good news, the good news is there's no ground water in there, so that's good. So I wouldn't have no ground water to contend with, it's bone dry. So I'm gonna break a little more of the concrete and put back some sand around our bucket. Okay, let's clean this up, get the remainder of the dirt out of here, put some concrete around our basin and install our sub pump. installing the cover so when I put the concrete it doesn't push this thing inwards and then I can't put the lid on so installing the temporary
okay with that being done let's hook up our plumbing so now we gotta get it all the way outside so I think what we'll do is we'll follow the furnace exhaust and intake pipes and get it out where those guys go let's drill a hole and get our plumbing into the house are out of this house We are expecting snow overnight, so let's get this thing sealed up. Okay, let's involve, let's involve. <laughs> All right, let's install our check valve. Now it's very important to have the arrows going in the direction you want the water to be pumped out. Now what a check valve does, it allows water to go one direction and doesn't come back and go back into the sump pump. So any water passes this valve cannot go back down. So let's install this, connect our pipe, get our electricity hooked up and let's see if this thing works. So we're almost done with this project. I want to build some shelves. 
build some shelves here run the electricity then come back and test our sub pump but first I have to take the kids to see some Christmas lights so let's go do that come back and then build some shelves Our shelf is built electricity has been run so now let's plug this in and make sure it works okay let's test this thing and make sure there's no leaks and then we can seal it up and that will be the end of this job Okay, we are about done here. Let's go refurbish this antique rocking chair. <laughs> 